Oh, it started clear back in the 1980s when they were doing Coho, but it's early 90s when they started doing False Chinook. And then we went from there to where we're at now. My name is Rick Rockholt, and I'm here with the Gardner Reachport Winchester Bay STEP program. I've been here since I retired about eight years ago. My name is Levi Simmons. I work for Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife as the Salmon Trout Enhancement Program Biologist. And today we are spawning out the last of our fish and trying to make some more fish to put in the river. Today we crowded down the fish to get them all together. And like I said, today is the last day, so we are going to use all the fish. On a regular day, we will go through each individual and make sure that it's ripe and ready to go. And otherwise we'll hold it for another week or until it's ready to go. Umpqua Fishing Enhancement Derby has a big role in helping us fund the operation of the hatchery. They've helped us with, uh, we've done some wiring here. They've helped with a generator that's running our uh, incubation tanks in case something happens to the power. They've also helped with the uh, renovation of the driveway here and the dam. We had to bring the dam up to some specs. So all that money has been a big help in our, in our annual budget. So we go through each female, we line them out, and our goal for this program is to do a five by five matrix, so that's five females and five males. It's a way to optimize our diversity because then we end up with 25 pairs of group uh, parents. We go through each individual, make sure they're clean, no blood on them because that'll inhibit fertilization, and then collect the eggs from, <laughs> from each female and put them into one bucket, mix them together and then pour those into individual buckets and fertilize each of those with one male. We do a volumetric estimate of how many eggs are collected. We do a 12 inch uh, trough and count how many eggs those are and we correlate that with how many ounces we collect total to get a rough idea of how many eggs we collected today. And throughout all of our takes, we've collected in excess of 220,000 eggs this year. And then, the other process that they're probably starting on right now is they wash the eggs with a PVP iodine solution to help sterilize any contaminants, bacteria, or fungus that might infect the eggs, and then water harden them off so that they'll be ready to go on in uh, gestation. Usually finishing up, wrapping up right about now, pretty typical for this time of year, and they will be raised there until May or June when they reach a little bit over 100 fish per pound. Uh, then they'll be ready to go. We will fin clip them and raise, take them over to Winchester Bay and acclimate them in the bay for approximately two weeks and then pull the nets and set them free. So they'll be here from now until June, basically. Dairy supporters and donors, thank you so much. Without the Umqua Fishing Derby, considering us and usually giving us a grant, we would be really strapped for funds to run this hatchery and you guys are supporting us, you're supporting the fisheries, you're supporting the local community. Because this fishery in the Lower Umpqua Actuary is huge to the Gardner, Reedsport, Winchester Bay economy. It, it really draws a lot of people.